If you want to advance the state of colored people, start with their children. Advanced from the I-Team tonight, a racially charged phrase from Governor Nathan Deal during his speech to educators as the governor admitting he made a mistake in what he said, but not in what he meant. In a new exclusive interview with our Fox 5 I-Team, the governor says he was upset with the NAACP for fighting an amendment that would let the state take over failing schools. Well, senior I-Team reporter Dale Russell has obtained a copy of the speech and you talked one-on-one -on -one with the governor. We did. He gave us a lot of time and expressed his feelings and opinions about what was said and what Governor Deal was saying is he believes Amendment 1, which allows the state to take temporary control of failing schools, will help poor minority students. And when he was frustrated with the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, or the NAACP, when he misspoke. I did not mean to insult anyone, but I was upset. Governor Nathan Deal says he didn't intend to use a racially charged phrase during a speech before educators in early October. Do you wish you hadn't said it? Oh, sure. I wish I hadn't said it. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't think it would be taken out of context. In an October 3rd speech in Savannah, the governor applauded the work done by the technical college system of Georgia educators. At the end of the speech, the governor went off script. He began talking about the racial politics involved in the vote on Amendment 1, an amendment he strongly supports that would allow the state to temporarily take control of so-called failing public schools. People are expressing concerns about the divide in our country, a divide that is a financial divide, a divide that is a racial divide. Governor Deal believes if the amendment passes, the state can help poor minority children graduate, get jobs, and break the cycle of poverty. My whole purpose here is to help children in this state. Teacher unions, school boards, and civil rights groups are against the amendment. Governor Deal says before the speech, the NAACP spoke out against the amendment. And the governor wasn't happy about it. The irony of some of the groups who are opposing doing something to help these minority children is beyond my logic. If you want to advance the state of colored people, start with their children. Do you feel like you misspoke? Well, I think I misspoke in that I did not use the entire name of the organization. But I don't think I misspoke in terms of where I think they should be on this issue. Why it's, it's, use the term colored people? Because that's in their name. In the NAACP's name? It was in the organization's name. I think my mistake was I didn't use the whole name. He wanted me to express that when um, mentioning colored people, that his intention was to state the national, um, excuse me, I want to make sure that I get this correct. Immediately after the speech, the Technical College System of Georgia Commissioner, Gretchen Corbin, took to the podium and said the governor asked her to clarify what he said. That he wanted to refer to the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People and asked me to send um, his regrets for not stating the full statement of his thoughts. The speech was given as Hurricane Matthew was barreling towards Georgia. Deal staffers say they thought they had survived a potential political storm. There was only a smattering of Facebook responses, including one from a woman who hoped someone or the media would get the speech and let everyone hear what Governor Deal said about colored people. I think you know me. You have covered me from uh, about eight years now when I first started running for governor. And I think you know that I'm not a person that has racially prejudiced or biased opinions. If you want to advance the state of colored people... As I uh, listen to it, I'm stunned. It's language uh, that I would not expect from the chief executive of the state. We played the speech for Democratic State Senator Vincent Ford, a strong opponent of Amendment 1. It's language that comes from another time. Uh, it's plantation language. Senator Ford says he doesn't believe the governor can blame his statement on a mix-up with the name of the NAACP. I understand the spin, but it's just that spin. It's it's. It's an empty kind of attempt to, uh, to you know, cover the governor's back. For me, uh, I think that there's a racist element to it. Now, Senator Ford said opponents of the Opportunity School District, Amendment 1, should not be turning control of local schools over to a governor who uses this kind of language. Governor Deal vehemently disagrees, insisting that passing Amendment 1 is the best thing voters can do for minority children 
in these failing schools. Russ Sine. Well, more than a million voters have already had their say on that. Others will on uh, November 8th, right. of course. In the meantime, this happened about a month ago. Was there much reaction in the crowd in Savannah to what he said, or did they understand what he meant? Yeah, it's interesting. Governor Deal says one woman came up afterwards, spoke to his wife, and then later spoke to him and expressed that she did not like what he had said and wanted to let him know that, and he mm -hmm. told her why he said what he said, and, and I think sort of said what he said to us during our interview right. uh, late yesterday afternoon. Mm. All right, Dale. Thanks so much for that report. Thanks.